In this example, we want to automate a table that includes different buttons. So I want to click a specific button and the rows are multiple rows. So John Doe and Jane Doe, and you actually need to map multiple comments to identify the correct area where the button is. And for that, we use the obstacle course. So we start by creating the table and use the um, artificial intelligence in test results IO to generate the context. We add the table, we call it the table and select the first header element and then just add the few header elements that we want to use. And that's it. And we select an element that references the um, first name as we want to prove that the table is visible and we add the table. On top of that, we also need to add a button. It doesn't matter because they all look the same. So we use Visual Sense for that and add the button. And that's it. That is the model. We can say generate screen and we can use the table in the model over here. So we go over the test case designer, reload the model and use the screen with a table on it. Move it over and say we want to select an action button over here. And we want to select the button for John Doe and we want to use the edit button. That's it, let's save it and let's start. And you'll see how it executes. John Doe is over here. So it identifies John Doe and presses the edit button. You can see that here how it identifies the different rows and identifies the full rows actually without and the full cells without identifying them. And you see how we pressed the edit button in the John Doe field and did a good job. That's it. That is how easy you can create a table and you can have elements in those tables that you interact with and use that in the um, user journey design.